Hello, my name is Manzar Pehlivan. I'm a geotechnical engineer with CH2M in Seattle, Washington. My area of specialization is geotechnical earthquake engineering, in which my interest started with the 1999 Kocaeli earthquake and the devastation in Turkey, my home country, following that event. The destructive aftermath resulted in more than 17,000 casualties, 40,000 injuries, and 250,000 people left homeless. Later on, hearing that thousands of lives could have been saved if the structures had been designed to satisfy life safety criteria, inspired me to become a civil engineer and to focus on earthquake engineering. I have a strong desire to help reduce risk and increase resiliency ahead of future natural disasters. I received my bachelor's and master's degrees in civil engineering from the Middle East Technical University at Ankara, Turkey, and my PhD from the University of Texas at Austin. My master's degree research was on a phenomenon called soil liquefaction, which was one of the main causes of failures that occurred in the Kojeli earthquake. My PhD work was focused on the effects of variable soil conditions on probabilistic prediction of ground response during earthquake shaking, which plays a huge role in design of critical structures such as nuclear facilities that are designed to have extremely low probabilities of failure. Following my graduation in 2013, I joined Miser Rutledge Consulting Engineers in New York City, where I worked on geotechnical and earthquake engineering projects in the United States, Canada and Mexico. During that time, I also taught the geotechnical earthquake engineering portion of a graduate level class at Manhattan College and participated in research efforts with NJE's Geotechnical Working Group, which focuses on development of seismic site amplification models for Central and Eastern North America where seismic hazards do exist, even though they are underappreciated. After the 2015 Gorkha earthquake, I traveled to Nepal for post-earthquake reconnaissance with the Geotechnical Extreme Events Reconnaissance, the GEAR team. I spent 10 days in Nepal with the GEAR team, and we collected invaluable data on site response and topographic effects, liquefaction and other ground failure mechanisms, and damage to infrastructure, including hydropower plants. The hydropower plants were one of the unique focuses of this reconnaissance study due to their importance for Nepal. One of the plants we visited for the reconnaissance was the Upper Tamakoshi hydropower plant whose headworks experienced 18 cm total settlement following the main and the aftershocks. The access to this plant site was closed due to an earthquake-induced landslide which also formed a natural dam and breached the cover dams. We could only access the site via helicopter and on the helicopter right to the site when the sky cleared, seeing the fascinating landscape with a beautiful view of Mount Everest made me realize how lucky I was to have a career that gave me opportunities to have such unique experiences. During the reconnaissance mission, we interacted with students from local universities, which gave us a chance to train them to perform effective post-earthquake reconnaissance and to make them aware of available geotechnical earthquake engineering technologies they can utilize to build more resilient structures. The entire experience was invaluable for me to once again realize the crucial role and responsibility of our profession in ensuring life safety and resiliency by advancing the current state of practice in designing against natural hazards. In September 2015, I joined CH2M family and moved to Seattle, Washington. At CH2M, I had the opportunity to be involved with every aspect of the projects from the initial phase to the final result, and to work with talented professionals from different backgrounds throughout each project, which provides me with excellent learning opportunities. I'm currently working on two large projects, one of which is the Georgetown Wet Weather Treatment System. That project includes construction of a combined sewer overflow water treatment station, related pipelines, and a new outfall structure to release the treated water into the Duwamish River. When constructed, the station will be able to treat up to 70 million gallons of combined rain and wastewater a day that would otherwise be discharged directly into the Duwamish River without treatment during the storm events. Some of the challenges associated with this project include a very tight timeline, working in an existing urban environment, and geotechnically challenging subsurface conditions. Even as a young engineer, I really benefited from being involved with professional societies, and I strongly recommend industry participation for every young engineer. During my PhD, I took a leading role in development of the ASCE Geo Institute National Student Leadership Council, for which I served as vice chair and chair. I was recently appointed by the ASCE Geo Institute Board to lead the development of the new Outreach and Engagement Committee, 
for which I am currently serving as the chair. I'm very grateful for all the support I have received throughout the years from my family, professors, supervisors, colleagues and friends who have helped me improve myself for the better. Looking into my future, I would like to be someone who makes a difference. I'm excited to face more challenging projects to contribute to the development of a more resilient environment with reduced risk against natural disasters and extreme events and to advance our engineering profession by laying the foundation for human progress.